Hello guys, welcome to lesson 5 of Crazy Tutorials and in this video I'm gonna uh, show you how to work with progress bar. So let's start with clicking on the new project and I'm gonna name it lesson 5. Okay, so here's our form. So for this tutorial I'm gonna make a login form also. Um, go to uh, toolbox and get a button for the login button and I'll need a tool level and also two text box so let me place this nicely this text box okay I'm gonna just copy and paste it here a little bit up okay so yeah looking okay sorry double clicked it um, so just <clears throat> um, let's change the text properties of this uh, if I select the level one go down to text properties and change it to uh, whatever you like I'm gonna change it to um, username and the second one to password okay Um, and also the button one uh, I want to change the text of it to login button okay so yeah uh, let's give them a name just like the login uh, button and give it a name like login underscore btn and select the this password text box I'm gonna make it password underscore txt and this for this one I'm gonna make username underscore txt okay I just double click on the uh, button and it should say login button click so when the login button will be clicked I want it to check if the username and the password is correct so if username t underscore txt dot text equals uh, for now let's um, like crazy and the uh, uh, password so we can type like and password underscore txt dot text equals one two three for now so enter so username is crazy and password is one to three uh, then we'll say in a message box that you are logged in or else if the username and password is not matched then it'll say in the message box um, you have failed to log in okay so let's test it out with just debug it and let's see what will happen if uh, there is we put it something weird uh, then it will say you have failed to log in and if you uh, type here the correct password uh, per correct username and password which is crazy and 103 and log in you're logged in um, okay, so um, let's just add a um, add a progress bar for now. Um, so just go to toolbox, and oops, uh, I'm gonna find the progress bar. There you go, progress bar. Just drag it over the form, and there you go. Um, for progress bar to work, uh we will also need a timer because without timer progress bar not gonna work so just go to toolbox and go down to timer and just drag it on the form um, if you select the timer one from the default it's enabled false so this is very important to make it true so that the timer will start but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, not gonna do that now because I, uh, I will enable it with the codes so yeah 
Um, also, there is interval. Interval is like 1000 interval equals one second. So one uh, like 10,000 interval, like 10 seconds. So yeah. Let's see the progress bar name. The progress bar name is progress bar one. Fine. Just double click on the timer and type progress bar one dot increment equal oops increment then uh, like I'm gonna type maybe 10 yep 10 and if you click on this um, progress bar go up to uh, maximum it says 100 and the minimum equals 0 so a uh, maximum value is uh, 0 and the minimum sorry maximum value equals 100 and the minimum value equals uh, 0 um, and as you can see here value if you change it like 50 as you can see it raised up to 50 percent so I, I wanted to make it 0 uh, we can actually wor use this value properties of this progress bar to work um, uh, work this progress bar I mean mess with this progress bar so <clears throat> uh, let's double click on the fro actually uh, let's debug it now for now this is uh, nothing happening right now because uh, the timer is not enabled so that's why nothing happening very nice just double click on the login form and um, username if the username is crazy and the password is one two three, it should it should say in the message box you're logged in. I'm gonna delete this. Actually, I'm gonna cut this for now. Okay, and <clears throat> I'm gonna put here the timer one dot enabled equals true. So now the timer will enabled equals true if the crazy and the one two three uh, has been put there. So. Yeah, I wanted to write here the a message box that you logged in. But for this to work, um, like when the progress bar will be totally filled, like hundred percent, I want the message box to show up. So I'm gonna um, say uh, if the progress bar one dot value equals hundred, then so progress or value when the progress or value is 100 then this message box will pop up and say you are logged in not before that also this is very important to stop the timer or else it will be a, a big mess because if if I just uh, run this and like type crazy and 103 login and as you can see this thing is going um oh this is actually very slow oh, we have to make it a little fast so as you can see and you see there is a lot of messages so we have to stop the timer uh, okay so <clears throat> also there is something that you cannot put the time uh, stop the timer after this message box or else it, it won't be stopped it will continue uh, you know raising until you say until you uh, press the OK button so we need to do it before the message box will appear so timer one dot enabled equals false here now it's gonna work just fine also we need to make it 100 maybe no maybe 50 100 a little bit too much so if we just play and the username if you put something uh, then yeah, fail to log in. If you put the correct one, and as you can see, you're logged in. Okay, and that's it. So that's it, guys, for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any question about this, please comment and subscribe. I'm gonna make lots of videos. So I'm gonna meet you in the next tutorial. And thank you for watching.